Hi everyone, welcome to the Mastering ECG Interpretation Workshop, The Basic Concepts. I will start with the most basic concepts with the assumption that you have very little or no knowledge in ECG interpretation. This is a standard 12 lead ECG. A 12 lead ECG record information from 12 different views of the heart and represents cardiac electrical activity from one instant to the next. The leads can be subdivided into two groups. The leads on the left hand side are called limb leads which are 1, 2, 3, AVR, AVL and AVF. They are subcategorized as 3 standard bipolar limb leads 1, 2 and 3 and 3 augmented unipolar limb leads AVR, AVL and AVF. On the right half of the standard ECG strip are 6 chest leads from V1 to V6. This is a rhythmic strip which is usually lead 2. This helps to determine the rhythm and calculate the heart rate especially if the rhythm is irregular. These leads help to localize affected area of the heart especially in case of myocardial infarction and gives the information about the most likely blood vessel involved. For example, ECG changes in leads 1 and AVL represent the lateral part of the heart, leads 2, 3 and AVF inferior part, leads V1 to V6 anterior and if the changes are confined to V1 to V3 or V4 it represents anterior receptor part of the heart. Now moving on to the individual QRS complex and its components. P wave represents atrial depolarization or contraction. PR interval represents the time taken for electrical impulse from SA node to pass through atria and reach AV node. It is 0 0.12 to 0 0.2 seconds which is 3 to 5 small squares on ECG strip. QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization or contraction. The first downward deflection after PR segment is Q wave. Deep Q waves are seen in evolved or old myocardial infarction. This is followed by R wave. The second downward deflection following R wave is S wave. Please remember that not every QRS complex will have all waves. STT segment represents ventricular repolarization or relaxation. We will discuss about importance of QT and RR interval later in the course as currently I am focusing on the most basic aspect of ECG analysis. Now let's have a look at blank ECG paper. Looking closely it is made up of large and small square. Each small square equates to 0.04 seconds on horizontal or x axis whereas on vertical or y axis each small square is considered to be 1 mm. This helps to categorize ST elevation myocardial infarction. Each big square equates to 0.2 seconds and on vertical axis it is 5 mm or 2.5 millivolt. Let's move on to pattern recognition. It is important to be aware of specific patterns in a normal ECG. We will start with lead AVR. All waves P Q, R, S and T are inverted in lead AVR. The reason being the electrical conduction is going in the opposite direction from this lead. In If these waves are upright or positive, it means there is misplacement of ECG leads during recording. There are specific QRS patterns in chest leads V1 to V6. In lead V1, R wave is very small with deep S wave. As we progress further down, the height of R wave increases and the depth of S wave decreases to the extent that in leads V5 and V6 there are predominant R waves with very small or absent S wave. It is very important to familiarize yourself with the normal ECG patterns so that you are able to recognize any abnormality if present. Thank you for watching. I will see you 
in the next video on the systematic approach for ECG interpretation.